So the tax reform that was, you know, that's in effect now was the biggest change to the tax code in the last 30 years, and it impacts every single tax filer. First and foremost, there was a change to the brackets and a lowering of the rates in general across the board, so everybody's getting slightly lower rates. Now there's a few other things. There was the elimination of the personal exemptions that you'd be able to claim for yourself and your kids, and then that was offset by an increase in the standard deduction. So those were some of the really big moving parts and pieces. Then there was this major expansion of the child tax credit, so up to $2,000 per child. With all of that, what we're seeing is that more people will be able to just claim the standard deduction, and people with kids are now finding that their children are worth more on their taxes. <laughs> From my perspective, it's always worth it to pay somebody to prepare your taxes. But that said, whenever you're going through a significant life change, that's the time when you want to consider getting help with your taxes. So if it's the first time you're filing, maybe your parents have always filed their taxes before, well, you want to work with a professional and get that objective advice and get educated on what are the things that you need to know. Then, whenever you have a big change, like buying a house, getting married, having a baby, those kinds of things really have a lot of tax implications and you don't want to miss out. So that's a great time to get help. For lowering your taxable income, you still have one more thing that you can do before April 15th, and that's contribute to an IRA. And that's a really cool thing because up to 5,500 if you're under 50, up to 6,500 over 50, and that's um, taking that money off the top, so it's lowering your taxable income, and you're saving for retirement, which is a really good thing to do. So some of the most common tax deductions are dependent on where you are in your life. So if you have kids, you need to be looking at all of the opportunities to claim child care expense, child tax credit. Um, if your child is older, say they're older than 17, there's now the new other dependent credit. So there's a lot of child and family credits that are available. If you're in school, there's the American Opportunity Credit for the first four years of college, and that's up to $2,500 to help offset your tuition expenses. And now, with tax reform, there's this new 20% business income deduction that's available for self-employed, freelancers, small business owners. So there's a lot of different things that you need to get smart on depending on what your situation is, because you don't want to miss out. So the number one thing that people should not do when it comes to their taxes is not file. We hear so many times of, oh, you know, I, I uh, didn't make enough money or I think I'm going to owe, I'm afraid, so I'm not going to file my taxes. And the most important thing is that the penalty for failing to file your taxes is so much higher than failing to pay your taxes that even if you can't pay, go ahead and file your tax return. You can always make up a payment plan later and it will help keep those penalties low. So if you are a full-time worker, so you're getting your uh, payroll taxes withheld from your main job, from your main employer, and you're doing some freelance on the side, what you may not know is that you're also gonna to have to pay taxes on that freelance income. And so either you wanna bump up what you're getting withheld from your regular paycheck so that you don't have to balance out your freelance or um, start making some uh, estimated projections and payments on your freelance income. That money that you're getting on the side isn't having taxes withheld, so you gotta plan for that.